Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to the Belligerent Brazil campaign in Victoria 2, where we last left off. The South American sphere of influence has been steadily growing. We are basically, um, let's see, one, two, three, four countries down. We just need four countries, like, to fall within our sphere. Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, and Paraguay. And all of South America will be within our sphere of influence, bar Guyana down here. But that's a different story, which we'll handle on a different day. So, right now, uh, we are currently currently focusing on machine guns. I stockpiled some points in the last couple months of 1869, and currently, right now, it's by raising the rate of when the research shall be finished. So I'm guessing it'll probably be somewhere around mid early 1871 because some of our stockpile points are currently filling in. So I hope we can be one of the first to discover it and start expanding our little African colony over here in Brazilian Sokoto. And once that's done, we can focus on industry and commerce and help our economy boom because that's what we need to get started on quickly. All right, so here's this little army. You guys just stay down here. Can't really do too much with you just yet. We have to wait our turn. All right, so... Fortunately, the taxes are a little bit high right now, but that's due to the situation. All right, so do, 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 do. We're probably gonna be behind on the colonial race, but that is fine as long as we can have access. As long as we have access to Eastern Africa or Central Africa even, I'll be happy with it. And if need be, we could take some of these other spots through colonial wars. All right, so Chile doesn't need to be that prioritized anymore. Let's start prioritizing Paraguay to get Paraguay within our sphere. Colombia, let's try to bring them up from negative. You're still negative with us, Bolivia. Yeah, we mostly have to repair our relations with Colombia, Bolivia from the early wars we had with them. Japan is also a great power now. It's just notice that Russia dipped. They're in eighth place. Huh. United States, they are still in the American Civil War, but it seems that they managed to recoup themselves so I'm gonna quit monetary support with the CSA because it looks like the CSA is going to lose this war I have no idea they're like over here dealing with a rebel problem while the United States is just invading them so CSA has really no chance at this point I thought they did with the war with Mexico but Mexico didn't distract the USA long enough and Mexico lost a chunk of their territory so it looks like this is gonna be finished on April of next year. So let's kick it up a higher speed. All right, we can increase the pain of Ecuador. They're now friendly with us. All right, naval base has been finished. Let's see, did this one get finished yet? Oh no, it's almost. And then I'll check over there. New political party, bank robbery, near do wells. Such a long ass time I heard that word. All right, Netherlands wants an alliance. The Netherlands wants an alliance with me. 
what's their relations looking like? Germany hates them. Uh, they got France, UK. They're kind of friendly with these guys. Yeah, let's accept it for now, but it's something I won't guarantee if we get called into a dangerous war. Clothing factories. Help them build whatever they need to build right now. We're still in a growing phases of our economy. We still have to like, once we get machine guns done, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of points in the commerce text and then go back to industry. Spend it on that. Losing quite a bit. War between Ethiopia and Egypt. I actually want to check that out soon. Alright, so this put us within the range. Alright. So now we're friendly with Paraguay. What's this war over? Sudan. Mm, and then Russia wants to annex Kokan. Okay. They said we have to hold out our time and the sun is coming. Man, we're going to have to play catch up with a lot of our industrial techs. We are so far behind because we lack the coal. UK wants to establish a protectorate on Morocco. Just gonna have to expand over through here. All right, so now we can build an even larger navy, but we're gonna need an even larger budget to handle that. All right, so we're almost able to sphere Paraguay and Ecuador. So, I don't see how else to describe this, but we're going to just need the money. Need to get the silver standard and decimal money system. All right, this is done. All right, so where should we go? Let's see, how long will this take? It'll take a year. What about this one? Three. Let's go for analytic philosophy. The increased resource speed will help us out and then like, you know, he could back to some of the other techs. Raise taxes again. Oh, we just discovered colonial negotiate. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Let's, let's start. Let's do this right now. Uh, get this. I actually want to try to move over here. North Cameroon. Wait, we're already doing this one? Oh, that's part of it. So far away from all this other stuff. Ah, this sucks because we don't really have much of a navy. All right, add you to our sphere, Ecuador.
All right, so, geez, uh, let's raise the tax on the rich for a little bit. This is for the good of the nation. That was quick. I wasn't expecting us to get it uh, that quickly, but also let us build a few more commerce raiders. I want to raise the tax on the rich. We discovered the colonial negotiations fairly quickly. We have like a slight advantage, not too high, but we have a slight advantage. All right, Paraguay can be added to our sphere now. UK declared war on Morocco. All right, actually, I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid right now. To save our budget, I'm gonna have to lower some of our spending. No, education, we should keep that up. Let's just see how this goes for a little bit. If not, I'll cancel the ship or two. Police relations with you, still have to get you positive. Same thing with you. We're buying up like these things off the market, which is the reason why it's costing such a high price, but the prices should bounce back once we gain uh, the purchases. We only have this slight lead. Uh, I'm pretty sure the other great powers must have it now too. We'll be able to tell over here because I have like military access through Britain. Let's see if like, anybody starts colonizing over here. All right, France allied Austria. Wait, did that mean they break their they break their alliance with Russia? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just got to get the rest of this stuff up off the market. Got to buy artillery, steamer convoys, canned food. This is gonna hurt us, but we we sorely need this. Wanna we'll buy the rest of the stuff up off the market? We have to just try to expand throughout the rest of this as quickly as we can. All right, so Britain is currently gonna take probably the, this from Morocco, All right, Fez? Oh no, they went the rest of Morocco. Ethiopia is kind of doing well against Egypt. It seems like they're gonna win that conflict. All right. Uh, what's this other liberal party? I just noticed this one. Free trade, secularize. Let's try to get some stuff up for laissez faire. All right, you increase relations with you. See if we can get some points in the Columbia right now. We border it, so aside from the negative relations and like the other countries have investors. Okay. We need to increase our investments. Alright, so we're making money again because we managed to purchase the supplies for the commerce raiders. No loans have been taken out. Okay. Let's keep watch over here in Africa. Keep a close eye what's going on. We're gonna have to like play catch up with... Russia's no longer a great power. I just noticed that. Belgium replaced Russia as a great power. 
Are you serious? Wow, Russia's in 10th place. What happened? I mean, we can't influence like, as funny as that would have been, like us able to influence Russia. But how, what? I truly wonder what happened. They fell behind on prestige and like their industry isn't that bad. Their industry is like a little bit better than ours. It's kind of like on the same level, but wow. Wasn't expecting that. Right now, we're, we're just incubating. Oh, uh, yeah, yep. This American Civil War is over. Uh, let's just do that. Central crisis and central hungry. So it's a crisis in Austria. Ooh. North, oh, North German Federation wants to liberate Hungary. Strongly is inclined to support Austria. Strongly inclined to support Austria. Now, uh, I would have liked to join that war, but it's just the North German Federation and they don't really have anything that I want. Oh yeah, UK is already starting their colonization right now. And they just finished annexing the rest of Morocco. Oh, so now Belgium's in a quandary. They want slice. Oh, Austria wants slicing. I would have liked that, but it's really nothing they have that I want. And Para and East Houseland. All right, can I start pulling you and you? I want to see will they actually start promoting these guys. Or are they not educated enough yet? All right, Liberal Party is still in power. Seems that these guys aren't educated enough yet. Oh, and we found the source of the Nile. Hurrah! So that just pushed us up to fifth place. All right. Um... What I'm actually going to have you guys do. I say, you guys just focus on capitalists right now. See if you guys could do that at least. Alright, they're at least doing that. Project, build a rhinery. Give me all big chunks of money, but hey. Increase relations with you almost back to positive relations with Colombia. Ottoman Empire wants to acquire Syria from Egypt. They're taking advantage of the situation and they're also battling Persia right now. All right, so we can create these protectorates. Boom, 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 boom. Trying to push over here. Outer house land. Let's go for that. Send a Brazilian expedition. Austria accepted the crisis offer. Did did North German Federation really just give Austria Schleichen? 
They didn't even put up a fight for it. They just surrendered it to them. Wow. Wow. This is so far being a weird campaign. Why the hell would they even do that? Are they, they going for... Oh, they're going for North Angola. So, yeah, it looks like the colonization raids for Africa is kicking off. We have ourselves a little decent lead. Let's also... It's 20... 100. We could build it right here. And let's actually like start building some naval bases. Alright. This should be good enough. Still need to save some income. But wow. They did not even put up a fight. I am... A shame. And then look at this! The North Germans just declared war to take it back. When they knew Great Britain was like finished with the war with Morocco, they couldn't like join in because the crisis was already fired off. But now, since they're not busy, they said, hey, Great Britain, can you help us take back territory we just fucking gave up? That's just ignorant. That was, that's just a cup like full of ignorance right there. All right, so we can increase our opinion with Colombia. We're now finally positive relations and we're cordial with them. Yeah, you can have military access, Denmark. But this is also good because it means the great powers are right now distracted in war. North German Federation is actually beginning a colonization. Okay, this is this could actually work out for us while Europe is embroiled in war. We could just come around through here and just continue creating Brazilian Africa. So all is good. All will be good. As you can see, yep, they're in war. So let's just quietly grow our power as Brazil. Race relations with you. Do we get discredited? Oh yeah, we've been discredited in Colombia, but at the same time, it doesn't really bother us too much. Great Britain, the reason it got this is because of Venezuela. We got that little bonus, but hopefully they'll be too distracted. Crisis averted. Venezuela goes bankrupt. So yes, while they're engaged in this war. France is crossing through Germany. Britain crossed into Dunkirk. Wow. Switzerland relation is. Alright, so we have a smallpox outbreak. Keep watch. When would this be done? 72, so November. There goes Britain. Just finished this chunk. They're going over here, but we're going to beat everyone through this path. Mine's offer from Spain. Ah, sure. Could use you. Use being the operative term. I actually want to stop focusing on Colombia right now because I think Britain may try to ban me. Let's just um, increase our relations with them. Well, I finish off topping off Paraguay and Ecuador. All right, so analytic philosophy is done. So now here's the big question. What should we focus on? Let us go. Let us focus on industry right now. Or no, actually, let's focus on mining output. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Let's focus on industry. Let's get organized factories. Let's let's get our industrial power to where it should be. Uh, Portugal acquisition of Liberia. Wait a minute, Portugal joined the war against Liberia. Wait, so does that mean the America is the United States gonna step in?
the United. I don't think the. I think the United States may have abandoned. Oh, I think they probably did, or they just released them from being a satellite. All right, so their Germany is losing this conflict. All right, so create protector right here. Create you. You're done. Right, they can have Boss Congo. We try to move over here. We'll we'll spread out. This Central Africa, most of Central Africa, will be ours. All right. So it looks like France is caught up with the UK. Let's see if we can try to get Volta. They're trying to battle over Ghana. Uh, I'll actually go for Timbuktu. Let's also continue building our naval fort. Well, commerce raiders. There we go. Seeing that also during this war is kind of helping us generate some income. But right now we need to focus on our nation, focus on our industry and such. And then we could probably try to snag one of these from Great Britain. See if we can like probably get an alliance up with France, if that's possible. Oh, they have too many great, who is it? Oh, it's Austria. We're not at the type yet. We can get multiple alliances going. All right, this is the end of this episode. My alarm just went off, but yeah, let's take a quick pan around the world, see what's going on over here. Uh, so Frank, it looks like the UK may have either ran from Dunkirk down to here, or they dropped some troops off. They're invading France. France is almost to Berlin. Actually, ah, Bavaria is allied with Austria. Oh, that's Bavaria who's almost to Berlin as well. Well, France is not too far behind. They're over here in Hessen and Hanover. Uh, Germany, uh, wow, Germany is actually going to lose this war. So that's sad on them. But I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again in the next episode of Belligerent Brazil. This is Solo Supreme, and good day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.